Hello budding tinkerers and innovators. Welcome to a new video in the ATL Lab equipment video series. I am sure you are excited to learn about a new device that will help you tinker better and build interesting projects. You must have seen a variety of devices such as these in your ATL. These devices are called sensors. A sensor is a device that senses or measures some parameter in its surrounding environment. In this video, we will look at the passive infrared motion sensor. It appears like a square board with a white dome on top. Well, what really is a passive infrared motion sensor? A passive infrared motion sensor is an electronic device that measures changes in infrared light radiating from living beings such as animals, plants or humans or from physical objects such as vehicles or machines in its vicinity. So, how does the passive infrared motion sensor work? Before we can learn how a passive infrared motion sensor works, we need to understand its key components. A passive infrared motion sensor is made of a pyroelectric detector, which is able to detect different levels of infrared radiation in its vicinity. The detector itself does not emit any energy but passively receives it. The plastic Fresnel lens is mounted on top of the pyroelectric detector to increase the detection range of the sensor. It does so by focusing the infrared radiation emitted by the physical object to fall on the pyroelectric detector. Let's now find out how a passive infrared motion sensor detects objects in its vicinity. When an object such as a human being or animal comes near the motion sensor, the infrared radiation emitted by the object falls on the Fresnel lens, which focuses it on the pyroelectric detector. This causes a sudden electrical signal in the motion sensor. When the object moves away from the motion sensor, the electrical signal gradually dies down. The variation of electric signal in the motion sensor indicates the presence or absence of an object in the vicinity. This is how a motion sensor works. Next, let's check out some of the practical applications of passive infrared motion sensors. A motion sensor can be used to detect the presence of a person close to a garbage bin and open its lid so that the person can throw garbage in it. A motion sensor can also be used to automatically turn on a water tap when someone puts their hand or a glass under the tap. At the same time, the tap can be shut off automatically as soon as the hand or glass is removed. Another interesting application of motion sensor involves opening and closing doors in multi-storied parking lots. When a vehicle approaches the door, the door swings open and lets the vehicle pass. Once the vehicle moves out, the door closes again. Motion sensors can also be used on roads with infrequent traffic movement during nights. As a vehicle moves along such a road and approaches a street light pole, the presence of the vehicle is detected and the nearest street light is illuminated in full brightness. Once the vehicle has passed, and if there are no other vehicles in the vicinity, the street light is dimmed to conserve energy. Motion sensors find practical applications in a variety of areas, including robots, toys and more. Do you wish to build your own application using passive infrared motion sensor? Here is how you connect the passive infrared motion sensor to an Arduino board. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the sensor to the 5 volts and ground pins on Arduino and connect the signal pin of the sensor to one of the data pins on Arduino, say D2. Finally, connect an LED between pin 13 and ground pin on the Arduino board. Scan this QR code to download the Arduino sketch for passive infrared motion sensor and upload it to Arduino board. After powering on the Arduino board, wave your hand in front of the motion sensor and watch the LED light up. Move your hand away from the motion sensor and see the LED turn off. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.